Hello, good day, children. Today we are going to learn something new. Look at the board. There, uh, there is a very big question. What will happen? And there is another one. If. Now you may be wondering what you are going to learn today. What will happen? Now you may be wondering what is going to happen. You see, there are two parts in this. First one is a very, very big question, and there is another. if word okay i am going to show you certain examples then you will understand it right uh, if you have a toothache you should read it like this what will happen if what will happen if you have a toothache now you may have lot of answers right let's read it again what will happen if you have a toothache what is normally likely to happen okay if i have a toothache i will go to the dentist okay let's go back what will happen if you have a toothache yes you will go to the dentist let's see another situation now suppose you have a baby brother If your baby, uh, if your baby brother cries, what will happen? What is the thing you are going to do? Normally, this is what I do. You will give him a toy. Let's go back to the question again. What will happen if your baby brother cries? You will give him a toy. Okay. Let's see a different situation. If Nimali brushes her teeth every day, what will happen? What is uh, most likely to be happening? Yes, she will get a beautiful smile, just like your smile. Right. Okay. Grade nine students. Today your lesson is about conditional clauses, type one. What does that mean? that means if clauses right let's go back to our questions again i have highlighted a certain word can you see that we'll go here and here we'll give and in the next one we'll get can somebody tell me the tense Yes, you are correct. That is future tense. So keep these two words in your mind. One is if, the other one is will get. Okay, let's go to the topic. As I have already told you, it is about if sentences. Right. Uh, let's move to the learning point. The conditional. sentence type 1 refer to actions that la that are likely to happen right uh, actions that are likely to happen that are likely to happen that mean realistic action confused i know let's read the other one the result will happen only if condition is fulfilled and there are another word also condition fulfilled still confused i think okay let's see it as uh, using an example now see there are two parts of this sentence if you do not study you will fail the exam so there is a condition a rule if you do not study what will happen what is most likely to be happening yes you will fail the exam that's what we tell you all the time right if you study so that will be different right uh, you will pass the exam right uh, okay look at this the words in red color we call this the condition or the if part so the rule is if you do not study result will be you will fail the exam if you do not study you will fail the exam right uh, this is something you have to write in your writing book okay you can pause the video and take your time 
and write this down. Right? Let's move to the rule. Now you have a certain idea about uh, this conditional tense. Let's see it in a, in a diagram. You see there are two parts. I can divide it like this. If I draw a line like this, there are two parts. First one is condition. Now we already know what is the condition, what the condition is. And the second one is main clause. Condition, main clause. The condition starts with if plus simple present. So to teach you this, I have to go back to my previous example. Okay, we started here. If you have a toothache, if your baby brother, uh, if your baby brother cries, if Nimali brushes her teeth every day, look at the verb and think of the tense. Now, in your grade eight, you have learned these ten these tenses. Now you can spot this S. You can spot this ES here. Can you tell me the tense? Yes, that is present tense. Normally we use singular verb for singular subjects in simple present tense. Okay, we are moving to our grammar rule again. So, normally if clause goes with simple present tense. And we have already learned this one. The second part goes with will plus verb. Verb means the original verb, the base form. We call this stem, as you have already learned in grade 8. Right? If comes with simple present tense and the result clause, the main clause goes with will. Uh, for example, if something happens, if something happens, do this. If, you, if something happens, if you do this, the result will be like this. If you are confused, let's uh, see an example. First of all, uh, you have to write this in your writing book. Right, I uh, hope you have written it. Okay, let's uh, see, let's uh, understand this with an example. So we have already discussed, there are two parts in the conditional clause, condition one and main clause, right? Look at the example, it is started with, it has started with, if he find the diamond, simple present tense, can you spot the verb? If he finds the diamond, look at the second one, result, will plus verb, he will celebrate. If he finds the diamond, result will be, he will celebrate. So, the possible future event, if he finds the diamond, what will happen? He will celebrate. If you find a diamond, what will you do? Uh, I wonder, I don't know what to do. <laughs> right? right uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, it is time to practice. So, now we have learned something. So, it is time to practice. Right? Uh, I will give you the condition or the rule. So, that's what teacher, teachers normally uh, do, right? Teachers give the condition. So, I give you the condition, right? Uh, you have to tell me the result. Ready? Okay. In your mind, you can think. And uh, if you have a book, take the book and note down the if clause and give me the result. For the moment, you can think and answer, right? Right, first, for the first one, I'll give you the answer. If I win 2 million rupees, right, again, uh, 2 million rupees, Shukra won uh, 2 million rupees. So, but uh, what will likely to happen? Now, I'm a very generous person, right? I'm a very good friend of you, so I will give you a smart tabs, like Shukra did, right? Uh, uh, I will buy smart tabs for all my friends. Uh, your idea may be different, right? Okay, think of this situation. If someone shouts in the class, there is a mischievous child in the classroom, he is always shouting. What will uh, most likely to happen? 
Yes, you can think of something. Huh? You may complain the teacher. You will, the monitor will complain the teacher. Right? Think of this one. If you eat lots of sweets, and these days you should be very careful about your health. If you eat lots of sweets, so what will most likely to be happening? What will happen? Okay, you will get fat, huh? you will be sick. Right, uh, this is about my mother. My mother goes to the supermarket and uh, whenever she goes to the supermarket, this happens. What will happen normally? I am waiting at the doorstep, so she will bring me a lollipop. Right, not me, right? Uh, this is something different. I will give you the result clause. You will be sick. Can you think of a, a condition? But if you do something, this will happen. Right. I leave it to you. Think of a condition and write it. Right. It's time to practice more. Um, right. You can pause the video and uh, write these uh, 10 sentences in your writing book. Uh, I am going to discuss first four questions. Look at the first sentence. After writing the answer, you have another activity. See, there are some pictures. You have to match the pictures also. Right, let's do the first one together. If you cook, I have to read the answer because I can't uh, write it right now. If you cook, so what should be the First tense, it should be present tense. So the same thing, you, if you cook some eggs, second part, make, I will make, I will make some coffee. So you can match the picture here. Right, uh, second one, my brother wash. So what is the simple present tense verb? Ah, uh, no, if he's here. Sorry, huh? look at this. The tenses are, uh, the two parts are jumbled, right? If comes in the middle. So it can happen like that. So uh, if can come in the middle of the tense also, right? Middle of the sentence also, right? Okay, so if you find the if clause in the middle of the sentence, you have to go there. So if we have with he, we should use has. If we has enough time, what will happen? My brother will wash his car. Right? I hope uh, by now you have a certain idea about this sentence. This sentence type, conditional clauses, type 1. Right, it is time to quickly recap the lesson. Right. If you want, you can write these points in your writing book. So, the first thing is, the lesson is about conditional clauses. So, that's what we already know. It is used to tell about possible result for an action. For example, if you do something, this will be the result. Right? If you do good, the result will be good. If you do bad, the result will be bad. We have already learned it has two parts. That means uh, the main clause and the if clause. If clause means the condition and the main clause is the result, that is will. Third one, if clauses start with simple present tense that we already know, right? Uh, and simple present tense verb and the main clause is consisted of future tense, will plus verb. Right? Is it clear? You have to use the comma at the end of the clause, if clause. Right. Uh, if, uh, for example, if you uh, eat too much of sweet, comma, you will be sick. Right? Something like that. So, I have a final question. Right? It's normally what I ask at the end of the 
if you are not clear about conditional clauses, what can you do? Or what will you do? Yes, you can uh, directly ask me, if I am in the classroom, now that I am not in the classroom, you can comment in the comment section, right? Uh, for them, I will answer or when I come to the classroom, you can ask the questions. Right, uh, hope uh, the lesson is clear to you. So, that's the end of the lesson for today. So, thank you very much.